Hey there, and welcome back to Movers and Mints. This is your episode for August 9th, 2022. I'm Goldie, and I bring you the top Solana NFTs over the past 24 hours, and I introduce you to a popular upcoming mint as voted on on the drop calendar on Magic Eden. So before we jump into everything, always want to remind you I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research before investing in any of these projects and never be willing to put up more money than you can afford to lose. Secondly, make sure to subscribe, like this video, comment, any feedback's greatly appreciated, share it with a friend. I hope you get some kind of value out of this. I'm just bringing you the top moving projects every day. You take the ball, run with it, do with it what you will. So having said all of that, we're gonna dive into the top five projects, starting with number five. Number five is going to be Rakudos. I've said this basically every day since we've started talking about this project. I have no idea why this project is as low as it is. You might be saying, Goldie, a 5.15 is not a really low floor price. I think this has incredible potential. Um, but this project is, uh, it kind of reminds me of like Disney art. I say that every day, but I think it does kind of look like that. But it's Amazon Web Services. Um, there's, there's a team that came from them. Um, that wants to bring cloud infrastructure to Web3. So I think it's a lot of opportunity there. Um, in the past 24 hours, they've done 1.2 thousand in, um, in, in Solana in volume. And the top five projects today, aside from this one, which is about level, have all seen pretty big growth over the past 24 hours. So Rakudos, I've been hammering on them. I'm really impressed by the idea of the project. So. We'll keep an eye on it. They can maintain their position in the top five as a popular project. Well, let's move on to number four, which is a silly brand new project. This one's called Dope Pigeons. Well, look at that one, it just sold. Um, now, it's a floor price of 1.35, definitely a D-Gen play. They just minted, but they've done a one and a half thousand uh, volume in Solana in the past, well, since they've minted. Um, so. It's uh, 2,222 dope pigeons, 80% of all fees collected from all our games go towards holders of the collection in the form of weekly passive income. So DGENs, passive income, hitting on a couple key points that people get excited about when they talk about Solana NFTs. Silly art, if you're interested, check it out. This, just like all the other projects that we talk about, are gonna have the link in the description below. You can go and explore on your own. Let's move on. To number three, three, two, and one, some familiar names up there. Starting with number three, Genesis Geno Pets Habitats. So these guys did get up to a very high floor price. It is dipped down to a 47.8 floor price right now. If we take a look at their all time analytics, you can see it. Uh, let's go to the um, all time here. Bam. So it has been hovering around this area. It did jump up to an 81.8 max floor price at one point uh, but it's basically part of a grander project the geno pets um, are the nft the character in the game and the habitats are uh the game itself basically um so they have done about let's see they have done 1.7 thousand in the past 24 hours that is a 196 percent increase over the previous 24 hours so Whenever we see a jump like that, typically that means that there was some kind of announcement or something like that. I don't know, but uh, if you wanna check it out, looks like things are moving there. Also, when you see a lower floor price compared to where it was, people tend to buy lower. We've seen that with the OK Bears and other projects as well. So Genesis Geno Pet Habitats, not a surprise to the top five, not a new one to the top five, but haven't been there in a couple days, they're back. Let's move on to number two. Primates. Now, Primates has been an interesting case study because this one kind of went under the radar when it minted. Um, they had hovered around that 15 to 20 range for a long time. Obviously, they're below that 15 right now with 13.1. Uh, I think it is a unique eye-catching art collection. It does kind of pop. And uh, they've done 2,000 in the past 24 hours. Another one with big growth, though, in the past uh, day. 263% increase day over day compared to the previous day. So again, maybe some kind of announcement was made. I'm not sure, but uh, these guys continue to have that 
relatively high floor price compared to their expectations when they launched. So it's a Web3 space, more of a brand, community-driven type project. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and take a look. It looks like these guys aren't going anywhere. And finally, let's hit up number one. Not a surprise, it's the OK Bears. These guys are always around. Now, what I just have really found it interesting to see this roller coaster that they're on. We'll take a look at their analytics. First of all, they're at 52 and a half floor price. So we're seeing resistance around that 50 floor price as it is. Now let's look all time at the OK Bears. These guys had a ceiling of 225 at one point, which is really wild. That was back in May. A lot of hype for these guys. You can see it's been a pretty consistent and steady decline into the uh, 50s range where they're at right now. Now, not to say that they're not going to go back up, and I think that has a lot to do with why their volume is high. They're slipping down, so I think a lot of people are buying in, expecting them to go up high as well. So they're approaching that 2 million total volume all-time mark, which is really nuts to see. Past 24 hours, 3.4 thousand, and uh, that is a 141% increase day over day. So, OK Bears, not a surprise that they're in the top five. This is a premier project. They've made a ton of noise since they've entered and they're not going anywhere. And that's gonna wrap it up for the top five popular collections in Solana NFTs on Magic Eden in the past 24 hours. All the links are below for those projects if you wanna check them out. Now we're gonna move forward and let's look at a popular upcoming mint. Now, if you're new to the show, I do this on every, every show. I wanna introduce you to a hot my thought process is how, I, how do I get to this? So I go to the a drop calendar on Magic Eden and I filter by the number of upvotes because you're required to log in in order to cast an upvote. You can't bot it or cheat the system. So I do ones, the highest one that I haven't done yet. And today that is going to be the Polaris collection. Interesting, it's 2013 upvotes. So they cracked the 2000 upvotes, which is always impressive. With an August 31 launch date, don't know if that's accurate or not. In Magic Eden, I think sometimes they put a placeholder in uh, there just to you know have something in there. I think they have to put something in order to list them because you'll see in a second it says TBD. Uh, but it's a metaverse project and I haven't seen a ton of new metaverse projects. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, it's a fully decentralized metaverse of the future. The NFTs that are in this project are gonna be used as avatars. So holding Polaris NFTs, Give you access to the DAO community that will influence the development of the project. In addition, take part in airdrops, raffles in the NFT, which will be used uh, such as in-game items, vehicles, different implants, and many other things that will value in the metaverse. Also be the first to participate in the beta test. Besides the lucky minters, who received the NFT with soul arm attribute payout of 10 souls? So there you go, you can get lucky there. Our metaverse will exist in the Andromeda blockchain which will be specifically designed for the quality work of decentralized metaverses and beyond. So their website is very legit. Um, I think it's very intriguing. Uh, I think they have a great concept and metaverse projects. I mean, I like to compare metaverses to websites. You know, they're in their early nine or late nineties, the wet internet boom, or maybe search engines, let's say. There were a million different kinds of search engines trying to, you know, fight for positioning and a couple won. That's how I think metaverses are going to be as well. So we still have one yet to see one really take over in the Solana space, obviously over on the Ethereum blockchain. We have Decentraland and Sandbox really controlling that environment over there, but yet to see one really take charge in Solana. So maybe Polaris is it. Who knows? Let's move over to their Twitter. 36.4 thousand followers. So that's a very substantial amount. Um, the future of metaverses. And that's what I think is an interesting project uh, when they talk about multi-metaverses. Um, I think that is, is pretty forward thinking. So it, it, this is an interesting project. And because they have north of 2,000 upvotes, definitely a strong community that is doing work. Uh, and then finally, we'll take a look at their Discord. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing like I normally do. This is what their Discord looks like. I'm in their chat, but 2.89 thousand citizens in the Discord. 
and they have some of their numbers here. They got everything that you could possibly want to know about their project and it's all divided very well and they do work with other DAOs from different projects as well, which is something that I always keep an eye out for because I like to see projects that cooperate with each other. But that's gonna wrap it up for our upcoming mint we're talking about. That's Polaris and that's an NFT metaverse coming in hot and that's gonna wrap it up for the day. So thanks for watching as always. I greatly appreciate you taking the time. I hope this is short enough and quick hitty enough. I don't even know if that's the right way to say that, but you get what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to bring you a high level overview of the day's events in the world of Solana NFT. So if you appreciate these videos, like this video, comment, share it with a friend, definitely subscribe. That March to a thousand subscribers is alive and well. We're going to be a YouTube partner. I'm going to will it into existence. Um, I do this show every day. I'm going to San Diego tomorrow, but you better believe I'm bringing this laptop and I will be making them on the road. So until tomorrow, it's Goldie checking out from Frisco, Texas. Let me be your daily source for the most popular Solana NFT recaps and popular upcoming mints. And this is the daily show where we ask, when's Solana summer? See you tomorrow. Fire!